Welcome to eBusiness Tax Part 4 Taxes and How to Set Up a New Tax by IT Convergence. Taxes Set up details for the taxes of a tax regime. Each separate tax in a tax regime includes records for the statuses, rates, and rules that are used to calculate and report on the tax. eBusiness Tax defaults tax information from the tax regime to each tax that you create under a regime. You can modify this information at the tax level according to your needs, as well as add additional defaults and overrides. You can create a new tax or create a tax that is based on an existing tax within the regime. When you create a new tax based on an existing tax, the attributes that remain constant for all taxes derived from the source tax are not available for update. You can only enable a tax for use on transactions after you have completed all of the related setup required. Prerequisite. Before you can set up taxes, you may need to complete one or more of these tasks. Set up tax regimes, ledgers and accounts, tax reporting codes, recovery type lookup codes, and tax types. Now we'll see how to set up a new tax on a business tax. Navigate to the Create Tax page. Enter the tax regime code. A business tax defaults the tax settings from the tax regime. Enter the configuration owner for this tax. The configuration owner determines the ownership and use of this tax and its associated setup. Select the tax source, create a new tax, or create from an existing tax. In the tax field, enter a code for this tax. Use a coding convention in keeping with the tax regime code. Enter the tax name. You can create a unique tax name or use the code that you enter in the tax field. Enter a tax type to classify this tax for reporting purposes. eBusiness Tax provides different tax types. Enter an effective date range. Enter geographic information for this tax. This includes the geography type for the tax, such as city, county, or state, and the parent geography type and parent geography name of their geography type. Enter the geography type for this tax. You can enter a TCA master reference, geography type, or a tax zone. If the geography type is country, Enter country for parent geography type and the tax regime country name for parent geography name. Enter an override geography type that belongs to the parent geography type. If you plan to set up different rates for this geography within the same tax jurisdiction. Enter the currency for this tax and define the way the tax amounts are displayed on transactions and reported to the tax authorities. In the Applied Amount Handling field, select the method to use to calculate taxes when a prepayment is applied to an invoice, either recalculated or prorated. If applicable, set the options for offset taxes. Under Controls and Defaults, if applicable, set the options for a tax-inclusive handling. If you enable the Allow Override and Entry of Inclusive Tax Lines option at the regime level, then in the Allow Tax Inclusion field, define the nature of tax inclusive handling for this tax. If the tax rates belonging to this tax vary in their treatment of tax inclusive handling, then enable the, the Allow Override and Entry of Inclusive Tax Lines options for this tax. You can then set tax inclusive handling at the tax rate level. Define the manual updates available to users on transactions tax lines. Manual updates 
Do not use tax rules and formulas. Allow override for calculated tax lines. It lets users override the automatic tax calculation on invoice tax lines. And allow entry of manual tax lines lets user create manual tax lines on invoices. You can check the Allow Duplicate Tax Registration Number box to allow multiple parties to use the same tax registration number for this tax. Leave this box unchecked to enforce unique tax registration numbers across all parties and party sites. Check the Allow Multiple Jurisdictions box to define tax jurisdictions for this tax in more than one geographic region. Select the Tax Accounts Creation method. Select Create tax accounts if you need to create tax accounts for this tax. If you intended to use tax accounts of an existing tax at transaction time, enter this tax in the tax account source field. You can also check the allow tax exemptions box to create tax exemptions for your customers for this tax. If you enable tax exemptions for this tax, then select the tax exemptions creation method. You can choose create tax exemptions, which create tax exemptions for your customers for this tax, or use tax exemptions for an existing tax, which use tax exemptions already created for customers for this tax. If you intended to use the tax exemptions of an existing tax at transaction time, enter this tax in the tax exemptions source field. If you set the allowed tax recovery option for the tax regime associated with this tax, enter tax recovery options. If applicable, set the option to allow for users override of the calculated tax recovery rate on transaction lines. If this tax allows for more than one recovery type, use the primary recovery and secondary recovery fields to enter the corresponding recovery types. The update tax page displays the default primary recovery rate code and default secondary recovery rate codes field. Select the default recovery settlement for this tax. Intermediate, tax recovery is available at invoicing. And deferred, tax recovery is available only after the invoice is paid. Now, you can check the allow tax rate rule box if you plan to use rules to determine the tax rate for this tax at transaction time. After that, click in Apply to save your tax. Thank you, and for more information, call us today for a free assessment and email us to release12 at itconversions.com. Don't forget to watch our series of videos about a business tax.